Hello all, welcome back. So, it's been a while. Sorry, I've been really busy. But I've been experimenting with some uh, forensics distributions. So I just want to show you this one here, this uh, CSI Linux. So I might do a couple videos on this one. Um, so basically you can search Google CSILinux.com and you click the download here. And then the password is CSI and um, they have some downloads here and uh, a few different things. They also have this, uh, this appliance here. We're going to check out a little bit later. But for now, let me just show you how to get it started. So I have uh, VMware Workstation here. So I'm just going to search here. I've got it uh, copied over to my uh, drive here. And let's see. Should find it. So I'm just going to import it here. And then let's see. So I'm just going to upgrade it right off the bat here. Should be fine. And just going to make sure that it's right for my environment. So I'm going to change this to one processor and then four cores. Um, I'm going to remove this DVD. Keep it on NAT. Printer I'm going to remove, display auto, just going to set this to 32, save, should be fine. So let's boot it up here. Just going to say I copied it. This is a fresh install of uh, VMware Workstation as well. And I'm on Ubuntu on my desktop. Do a boot. It seems to be starting up with no issue here. So interesting. There's no desktop. There must be something wrong here. Let's see. There we go. Maybe it's my machine. And we are in. So there's a lot to digest with this uh, forensics distribution. Um, but the first thing I'm going to do, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I think I'm going to go through some of these tools in future videos. There's a lot here. It's a really great forensics distribution. So the first thing I like to do anyhow is just uh, update it. So it might be a little bit laggy here because I'm recording and uh, running the virtual machine on the same system and I've only got a uh, older system. So So let's just run an update and upgrade here. It shouldn't take very long. Apologies for the background noise. I have the dishwasher going. I really like this distribution. Um, it's pretty clean. They've got a lot of stuff. Like I say, there's a lot to unpack here. So could start a case here write blocker to write block and mount partitions, which is great. I actually have a external USB uh, SATA drive hub for a 3.5 inch this and a 2.5 inch uh, SSDs. So that would come in handy there for doing uh, imaging. You could take your forensics image from there. Um, Tor VPN. Got a lot of stuff here. A lot to unpack, right? I'm going to go through some of this stuff later. Because I have to uh, 
organize myself how we're going to go through each one, right? They got a lot pre-installed, so out of the box. Screen capture. It's nice. Cases. Start a case. Got tools here. Update tool. Actually, that's what we're going to run next after we update this one here. Um, actually, the, the power up is going to run quite long. So basically, once this uh, update is finished here, I'm going to run this uh, power up. They got a lot of uh, stuff pre installed here, which makes things pretty easy. Encryption tools. OSINT investigations, dark web, incident response, network forensics, computer forensics, data recovery, right? File recovery, file analysis, mount drive images, mobile forensics. A lot of fantastic stuff here. You can really do a deep dive on this one. Virtualization. I don't think I can do nested virtualization on this one. Threat maps. There's a lot here. A lot going on. So. I like it. I'm going to go through this through uh, uh, a few videos and uh, see what we can do. They've got Cherry Tree here, Caliber pre-installed. A lot of tools pre-installed here. Uh, I normally use Kali Linux, but um, they got a lot of stuff in here that I like. So, so yeah, looks like it's frozen. Interesting. Probably because I'm recording at the same time. And I guess this is updating, so it's taking a lot of resources, right? Let's see. For some reason, um, I can't get uh, OBS Studio to use my video card. I do have a video card in this desktop computer. But uh, for some reason, it doesn't work, and it always uses the CPU no matter what I do. So, so once this is done, basically, um, I'm going to run the power up command, and then uh, take a snapshot. And then uh, in another video, I'm going to go through some of these tools here and explain some of the stuff. They also have another... A virtual machine that you can use for the networking and stuff. So I'm going to take a look at that. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly show you this uh, CSI Linux here. Uh, it's really neat. They got a lot of stuff. So if you're into forensics or OSINT or anything like that, uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think and um, what I can do for some other videos for this one. To showcase some of the stuff here. All right. Anyway, this was just a short video. I'm going to try to make a few more as soon as I have time. So um, I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.